This is video two for the 24 elements of design exercise. We're starting at uh, making a new paragraph style. So click off to deselect anything. Click off to deselect here. Click on the panel menu, new paragraph style. Now it has brought in a lot of information here. This is when you use reset to base. I was playing around and that's why it's found this, but I'm going to reset it. I'm going to call this intro paragraph. It will be based on no paragraph style and we will put in our specs. So basic character formats. This will be Verdana bold. 11 points, 11, I'm pressing my tab to make that sure that's entered and then switch to indents and spacing. The alignment will be left justify. The space after will be 0 0.0625 and I will tab to make sure this gets entered and I will switch over to hyphenation, take the check off and say, actually sometimes I like to come back to general, just make sure that everything looks good here. Click OK. And now click somewhere in this first paragraph and apply. You can see it was body copy style, but we're going to apply the intro paragraph style to that. And that is done, so click off. And at this point, we are going to make a new swatch. So first, we're going to use the eyedropper to go and get a color. And you can see we have a color here. It doesn't seem to matter whether you bring the color into the stroke box or the fill. It seems to work either way. So that is in there. I am going over to the swatches panel menu and click New Color Swatch. I'm going to take, and you can see that it's found that color. Take this check off that box and name it Pencil Brown. Click the Add button and you can see that it's been added. Click the Done button. And now repeat, so click off, repeat that just so that you know how to add a swatch. Just do a lighter brown the next time, but I'm moving on to the next step. So we are actually going to edit this intro paragraph style. You can see that nothing is selected, but this is the power of this. If we go into this style, and we're going to move this down here, and if we change to the character color section and set this swatch to pencil brown and click OK, once we do this, that intro paragraph instantly turns the new color. Great, so I'm going to click off and we're ready to do another paragraph style. So I don't have any text selected on my document. Now this time we're going to make a style and, and apply it to some of the text to create some bullets. This time we're going to base this style on the body copy. And it is going to become a new paragraph style. But the bonus, if we base this paragraph style, which we're going to call bullets. If we base it on the body copy and then down the road we go and change the body copy paragraph style, then this bullets one will also update to include some of those changes. And the bottom line is uh, we have a text that we, we don't want to change the font or the font size. So we want to make sure that we, we maintain that link for this style to the body copy link. So 
we will name this bullets and then we will do some specs here. So we'll come to the bullets and numbering list. Now just so that you can see, it has maintained some of the body copy specifications, but here in bullets and numbering, we are going to switch this from being none to a bullet list. We'll click this add button. We want to add a bullet. We are going to switch this to wingding font, wingdings, and we are going to find GID 194, which I happen to know is down here. It's this arrow. So we're going to click on it. We're going to add it, and then we're going to say OK here. Now, it's still not selected, so you do have to select it one more time here. And come down to this position section. Alignment will be left. Left indent will be 0.375. First line indent will be minus 0.25. And we will click OK. And if we come back into bullets now, we can see that we have a number of specs there. So that's great. And now we want to apply this to some of the text. So we are going to come into our text tool. And right here, guide the eye. We're going to click and hold and drag down until we get to here. And we're going to apply the bullet style to this. Voila! Done. All right, now we're going to create another style. So I'm going to click off of this. And I'm going to click off of any paragraph styles here. And I'm going to make a new paragraph style. I'm just going to check. You can see that uh, it's brought in this style setting. And I may want to change that. But first, I'm going to call this side heading. And I want to base it on no paragraph style. And it's brought this up, and I'm just going to reset that to get to have no previous specifications in here. And come to basic character formats. This will be Verdana, bold, 11 points. Oh, crap, I got out of it. Sorry about that. Back into side heading. Because I pressed Enter, my Enter key, to accept that instead of Tab, it, it functioned as an OK and took me right out. So now come back, indents and spacing. Space before is going to be 0.125, space after is already 0, so I'll leave it at that. But I will tab just to make sure that's been uh, activated. And come to the hyphenation, take the check off there, and say OK. So I have a side heading style. Then it says, find all the following text. If necessary, put the cursor at the end of the text and press Enter so these strings of text are on one line only. So, for example, appearance of lines is right here. So, I'm going to double, I'm going to click off, actually, so that none of these are activated. I'm going to double click into here. It shows that this is a body copy paragraph style right now. I'm putting the cursor at the end and pressing Enter. And I am going to also delete those two little spaces there. Line patterns. 
I'm going to come here. This time I'm going to be careful. Uh, well, I could just include the space and press line. It's right there. And then six types of lines. I'm going to put it right before what I want to land at the left on the next line. Press my Enter key. I'm not going to do them all in front of you. I'm just going to do these three and then I'll fill them in and come back on the next video. But all you have to do is put the cursor into each of these now and click the side heading to apply that style. Side heading and side heading. So continue the rest. I'm not sure if I somehow got a space there. I'm going to just check and somehow I did. So I'm just fixing that. And so continue on to continue on. I'm getting out of text for a second so I can use my space bar here. Continue on and format the rest of those to be side he headings and then we'll come back and do the next section.